Hello and welcome to Travel Market Report TV. Today I am here with Mark Conroy from Silver Sea at the Affluent Traveller Symposium in Boca Raton. Thank you so much for joining me. It's a pleasure to be here on a beautiful day. Gorgeous day. I'm so excited to talk to you about Silver Sea. I want to talk to you about destinations. I want to talk to you about the business. I want to talk to you about how we can help travel agents to make more bookings and make more money by sending people on the vacation of a lifetime. So let's start with the business end. What percentage of your business comes from travel agents? It's somewhere around 75%. It varies by departure and destination. Uh, our expedition business is almost 100% through agents, and I would say our regular is, is a little bit less than that. So That's it enormous. averages about 75%. So. That means that travel agents are super important to you. Yes, well, not only for that, but if you think about it, we're not everybody's first cruise. Right. You know, people don't decide to take an expensive, exotic cruise on the first time off the boat. So they, they typically take a, a shorter seven, three or four day cruise. And if they like that cruise experience, which 99% mm -hmm. of them do, then they'll try something as they, as they become more affluent or as they're willing yeah. to spend more time and money to take our cruising. And I don't know who's been on cruises before. I don't know who stays in suites. I don't know who stays yeah. in inside cabins. And that's where our travel agency partners, because they can take that customer who they know can afford a luxury cruise, but hasn't thought about buying one and convert them to us. And one of the things they need to do is point out that even though we look like we're a lot more expensive, by the time you figure out what we include versus what extra yes. things they charge Comparing for. Comparing apples and apples, right? Exactly, our mm -hmm. price differential sometimes looks like it's twice as much, but at the end of the day, we're probably, I, I would say maybe 10 or 50, you know, say it's a say it's a seven day cruise, $100 a day more, that's yeah. $700, but would you rather travel with 380 people to Alaska or, or, or 3,800 people? And most people yeah. would rather not be with a crowd. So, and of course the great thing for the agent is because we're inclusive, we pay the commission on the total number. So they're first sailing with us, they'll make about twice as much money. I, I like to call it a virtuous circle. The, the customer learns from the great advice mm -hmm. from their travel agency partner that they, they can go on a luxury cruise that they didn't think they would either spend the money or could afford yeah. or didn't want to spend the money. The agent makes about twice as much money as, as they do on the first booking. Plus, we've had about a 60% repeat factor. Mm -hmm. So that client's going to come back. And then the customer again is really happy because they go home happy. And the second thing is they get to discover a new product that they didn't know existed before. Yeah. Because uh, we're not a household word. You know, we're a small company, but we still carry 72,000 guests a year. So we're you know, a small, big company, yeah. but we're not a household name. Most people haven't heard us overseas. And that's really the role of the travel agent for us. I heard one thing there that I think every travel agent watching this um, around the country, around North America heard, and that was commissionable on the entire trip. So let's talk about that a little bit because for those travel agents who are accustomed to booking ocean cruisers, their commission comes off of their ticket price. So we know that there's ticket price and there's onboard revenue. And the onboard revenue, they never hear about, see about or anything like that because it's all paid for separately on board. So tell, talk me through the advantage of having a fully inclusive product that you sell. Sure, so to give you an idea, again, I, I, I like to pick on some premium cruise lines. I won't mention mm -hmm. their name, but they're based in Seattle. Uh, <laughs> they, they have a cruise yeah. just like ours, and, and, and it's a seven-day Alaska cruise, and our price is $49.95, mm -hmm. and their price is $24.95. So yeah. initially, the customer looks at it and says, you know, what, what do they do to make it twice as expensive? And the agent has to stop and say, well, they're not, because you're paying this and the only thing you're gonna spend extra is, is some shore excursions, the gift shop or the casino. Yeah. And, and, and we'll probably give you a shipboard credit as part of the booking process so you can pay for some of that there. Where on the other company, you know, they charge you gratuities, which can be, you know, this eight, is a $10 huge a thing. day. They, they charge you for, you know, just about alcohol. I mean, yeah. uh, alcohol, you, you know, an average drink on a cruise ship today is about $14. So if you drink three drinks and a bottle of wine, you're talking about, you know, $100 per person per day and, and alcohol alone, yeah. you know, if you're like me, of course. But uh, <laughs> uh, so, so, so the customer has to understand. And, and the reason the customers don't notice it as much is they, they pay for their cruise at 100 to 90 days before sailing, and then they get their credit card at the end of the cruise 30 days after sailing. Right. So they don't relate to two credit events together. So that's one of the agent's roles is to remind them it's not just what you pay to get on the cruise, but what you pay to get off can be expensive. That's an incredible selling point. And if you are selling Silver Sea or you're not yet selling Silver Sea, 
pay attention to that because basically what you're saying is, um, I know because my husband and I took a cruise last week and we did not do an all-inclusive cruise, which meant that the ticket price hit us at one stage. We paid for it in full because we booked shortly before departure. But then, like you said, when we got on board, we had drinks and gratuities. And, and had a great time, I'm We sure. had a great time, but then when we add together the total amount that we spent on the cruise, we spent the same amount that we would spend cruising with you. And if the travel agents are going to be of assistance to clients in sort of spreading out those payments, putting down their deposit perhaps, and they're making sure the final is in at the right time, they essentially can help somebody to have everything done before they leave home. Well, the other cool thing that we do now is that we actually have a program called the Early Booking Bonus. And if a customer pays for their cruise in advance, full payment, and by the way, it's refundable, yeah. uh, up to about six months before sailing, um, they get a 10% discount. And how many people today are making 10% on their bank accounts? And, and, wow. and, and we, we originally did it kind of helped cash flow, to be real honest with yeah. you. But we've got this unattended consequence, and that is that because our deposits are refundable, from the time a customer books till, the, till we're sailing, about 30% of them change their mind. Something happens in the family, whatever. On these, yeah. on these sailings, it's only 13%. And there's nothing more frustrating for a, a, an agent to do the work, to convince the customer to take the cruise, to help them plan their excursions, mm -hmm. do all that work, and then at, then at 95 days, a, the day before the penalties kick in, the customer cancels because, you know, mm -hmm. Jimmy didn't do well in college and he has, needs to do another semester. And, and where if they've already spent the money, they don't they, 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 well, the find them. You know, these people have money, <laughs> so they'll just find the money somewhere else. And people actually, when we think about it, people don't really cancel travel, they postpone travel. Yes, yeah, so you, you hit it right on that. People do not cancel travel. Yeah. They postpone and, and like travel. I said, it's all refundable till the final payment kicks in, you know, the regular final payment date, which is, in our cases is mm -hmm. usually 120 days before sailing. So it's a great opportunity to save your clients some money and still make money. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it works very well. How does a travel agent know when they're doing a consultation that they're talking to a Silver Sea client? I think they have to know the client or at least ask the right questions. Mm -hmm. uh, they need to figure out when, where the client's been before, wh what's their expectation of the kind of hotels they mm -hmm. stay in, if they stay at expensive resorts, if they travel yeah. business class. There's a lot of different indicators, but really it's listening to the client, finding out first of all where they want to go, mm -hmm. but also finding out where they've been. So, And you should even say to them, I want to make sure I recommend the right products. So if you've told me what, you, what, what your travel normal travel plans are, it allows me to think because th there is a cruise for everyone, yeah. but not every cruise is for everyone. Oh, I love that. Can you say that again? There is a cruise for everyone, but not every cruise is for everyone. <laughs> That's great advice. It, it, it truly is, but it, it goes back to listening and, and hearing mm -hmm. and then following up. The other mm -hmm. thing is, and, and don't be afraid of pricing. Mm -hmm. uh, well too many people uh, you know, sell from their own pocketbook. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and I have customers, we have customers, you can buy a Silver Sea cruise for as little as $2,100, but you can yeah. also spend $210,000. Yeah. And, and you know, it's sometimes hard to say, you know, this could be, this 100-day world cruise could be yours for just $210,000 per person. Yeah. But, but so you have to understand. That it's about perspective though, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Because as a child, and I value. remember. And value. Yeah, exactly. Perspective and value and also taking your own personal feelings about money and your own personal money situation as an agent away and put it to the side. Because for somebody that has $3, $5 is a lot of money to spend. You know, the cool thing about us, though, is our customers tend to make a good living. You know, somebody mm -hmm. said to me, I, I, we were at some, some, some event, and, and, and this lady, the press was talking about the lady, said, well, we love to be in travel. We don't make much money, but, but we have a great lifestyle. And, yeah. and, and, and I was sitting with a, an agent who makes a lot of money in traveling. She said, well, they're silly then. They're not selling the right product because you can make money in this business, so a good living for it. And of course, and in touch of that, have a great lifestyle. But, you know, I, I always joke that, you know, most of our commissions have commas in them. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The best kind of commission, the ones with commas. Exactly, exactly. Where can travel agents go to learn more about Silver Sea to brush up on their knowledge? I ob obviously, cruising with you is the best form of education that they'll get to understand your product. But where else can they go? Well, that, that's true. I, first of all, it starts, I think, with the consortium they belong to. Mm -hmm. You know, if they, most of our part, marketing partners, well, you know, they're not consortium anymore they're really marketing partners and, and they're the people that have a lot of knowledge about the agency and can help share that data with you know uh, with with them I think the second thing is we have a website yeah. uh, uh, silverc.com but there's also an agent portal on it yeah. and we've got some great marketing tools you can actually go in and 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 we have a thing that's called gauge and you go in and you can make up a flyer you put in the sailing data it will create a custom day-to-day -day itinerary and you can pick the pictures if you want to upload your logo you can and the coolest thing even then you can even load 
it's a third party that manages for it. You can even load your, your mailing list mm -hmm. or your email list into this, and it will actually send them out for you. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so it's it's a great tool. It's, it's a little tricky the first time you use it, but I've also got 20 salespeople in the field. I was going to say, I'm sure you got some people to help it, out exactly. with that learning curve. You know, and, and you know, the best thing about our product, because of the, uh, the, you know, the, the, the prices and the average rate, mm -hmm. is that we're willing to help and touch every booking. Because you know our average sale is probably seven to ten thousand yeah. dollars per person, all in, all in, and and that's a booking that's worth spending some extra time mm -hmm. with. So if you if you've made a booking with us, if you've got questions, you can talk to the reservation agent. You can ask to speak to our inside sales team or ask mm -hmm. our, our our regional sales director to to come in and either help you or actually even do a presentation. You know, in our expedition business, which is our fastest growing business. We actually have, we call them uh, expedition leaders, who when they're on vacation a lot of times will come and uh, travel around the United States partnering with travel agents to do presentations yeah. to a group of their customers at, at their country club or, or their yacht club or, 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 or wherever, the Kiwanis Club, and, yeah. and get together a group of people that are interested in expedition. That's amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. My last question to you, of course, I ask everybody who comes by TMR TV, where have you not been that's on your bucket list that you would like to go to? Well, you know, they tried to send me to Vietnam in 1970. And I <laughs> Not on your bucket list and for, I, and for I didn't, reasons. I was, fortunately, I, was a, uh, I got into ROCT, so I didn't go. But I, I, I love, I, I've, love of, I've been all around Vietnam, haven't been to uh -huh. it. Uh, Antarctica, I've, I saw a lot of Antarctic cruises, and I have yet to go because we're usually full. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and if my, but my favorite destination probably, non-cruising, is probably Paris. Amazing. So Vietnam, Antarctica, and Paris. Right. We hope we get out there this year. Great. Thank yes, you very much. Thank you much. so much for, for joining uh, us really today. I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you so much. So to learn more about Silver Sea, make sure you jump onto their website. We'll pop the link below. And thank you again, Mark Conroy, for joining us. Thank you.